G'day everyone, in this video I'm just going to show you how to desolder a plated through hole um, on a fabricated board. A fabricated board is one that you'd buy from somebody um, if you're doing a project. Um, in this case we're talking about guitar pedals but of course could relate to any project um, and they're a little bit different and a little bit trickier to actually desolder than they are um, if you've got a single sided etched board that you've done yourself. I find that the solder um, is uh, will fill the hole and it becomes a little bit trickier to get the solder out of the hole so that you can replace it with something else. So I'll just give you a few quick tips. I'm no expert on this, but I'll give you a couple of tips that I've found since um, fabricating my own boards. I've always done etched boards and I've um, uh, swapped to fabricated boards recently, which is pretty much all I do now because they're a lot quicker um, to, to build a project with. Um, and also testing my own boards, I have to test them and you know if I desolder uh, a pad or something um, obviously that's where the experience comes from. So first thing to do is to get, I'm just having a look in my drawer here, a decent um, solder sucker. Um, I've just recently bought this one, it's a solder, solder, solder pult, um, you can see it written on there. It's the cheapest solder pult that there is and it still is infinitely better than my previous solder sucker, which I'll just find is one of these um, one of these uh, electronic shop type of um, uh, uh, solder solder suckers. It looks better, and it's got a you know it's got the aluminium um, uh, uh, tubing and all that sort of stuff. But you'll notice that when I press the button too, it comes up really slowly. This one seems to pull it. Um, uh, uh, pull the, have, have a stronger spring action, um, which is good because it will it assists to suck the solder out of the plated through hole. So I've actually just soldered in this little resistor down here, um, just as an example on a, a on a fab board it had an error on it, so it's just a throwaway anyway. But um, we'll solder it, we'll suck out that solder um, from that um, resistor, and and I'll, first I'll try it with the um, with this. Um, solder sucker and then we'll do it with the black one the solder pole so as usual I'm doing this from behind the camera so it's it's a new level of trickiness um, and um, so first let's try this one up the top here with the um, old the old solder sucker and I'll just try and suck that out and as you can see it's absolutely pathetic it just won't suck out that solder if you've got one of these and the and a lot of people do um, particularly those new to um, so, to uh, soldering and electronics. Um, do yourself a favour, put it in the bin, and go and get a decent a decent solder sucker. So let's try this black one now, the solder solder pult, um, and see if it does a better job. So make sure that the um, solder has flowed first. Bang! Look at that. It's pretty much sucked it all out in one shot. Um, it's just so quick that the the it's got so much suction that it will just pull out the solder from the hole. And I can tell you, these can get really messy when you get one that's not um, cooperating. That wasn't actually um, melted. Let's give it another shot. Bang! There it is. Um, you can still see that there's probably some solder inside that um, inside that hole. Um, so you may need to give it a few shots and get nice and close. Put try and get the um, hole right over um, the the pad. Now I can't actually see from um, here, but it would appear that it's still it's still filled inside that hole. So to make it easier, I probably should have mentioned this at the start uh, earlier on. Pull that resistor out first. Um, so uh, you're going to need to use your solder soldering iron on the thing and pull the resistor out, or just cut off um, cut off the legs and throw it away because res resistors are like one cent or whatever, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then um, and then your solder solder sucker will probably just suck out that lead anyway um, so that's a that's a better way of doing it you're not going to be able to remove all of the solder while there's a lead um, in 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 the pad um, so you want to get that lead out one way or another first and then you can get the solder solder out but I mean the point I guess of the video uh, the point of bringing these solder 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 suckers into the video is that a bad soldering uh, a solder sucker like um, this this um, bronze colored one a gold colored one is um, is just it just won't 
it, it's kind of had it. It probably needs more grease. You know, the the spring action's gone. You know, the spring's probably gotten loose. Make sure you got a decent decent quality solder sucker when you're doing fabricated boards because um you need one. You just can't get the solder out of those holes if you've got a if you've got a pretty um pretty crappy uh, solar sucker, it just won't do it. Another way that people do it too is to use um, solder wick. I'm not a very big fan of solder wick. There's rarely a situation where I actually need it. This is this is pretty good quality stuff um, being goot, uh, which is Japanese. Um, and one little tip with using this, if you're going to use um, solder braid, um, solder wick, solder braid, is to put a bit of flux on the um, on the solder wick. In fact, this is almost an essential tip because it doesn't really work unless you do it. Put some put some flux on the solder wick so that when you heat up the solder, it will get sucked into the solder wick. If you don't have that flux on there, it's just not going to transfer onto the solder wick. So just put some sol yeah, some flux on the end, and it will help it to um, transfer onto the solder wick. So you can do that too. You might find it helps if you're trying to get it out of the hole. It could help that way. I usually find that if if a um, solder sucker doesn't work, then um, the solder wick usually doesn't work either. Um, and then, I mean, you also have um, the the vacuum solder suckers, uh, solder soldering irons, desoldering iron is what it's called. It's basically like a soldering iron with a vacuum, um, sucks the solder out, which apparently is uh, the bee's knees um, for, for desoldering, but I don't uh, have one of those, so I can't give you an example of that. Um, but yeah, just make sure you get a good quality solder, solder sucker and you should be fine. You won't need the solder wick or any of that sort of stuff. And um, it'll help you get that solder out of those um, plated through holes because um, uh, if you haven't worked on them before, I can tell you that some of the holes can be a real pain getting the solder out. Um, well, they were with <laughs> this thing, um, but once you get a good one, it's um, it's nice and easy. Um, so that's it for this video, just a quick one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more guitar pedal and electronics related videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching.